No change in the top eight teams for college football's AP poll released Sunday. Alabama holds steady at the top spot. In fact, the Tide received all 62 first place votes after that 60 point beatdown on Kentucky. The big mover, though, Northwestern, who sits right outside the top 10 at number 11. That's up eight spots from last week and is the school's highest ranking since 1996. Okay, so that's what the AP thinks, but the real news coming Tuesday with the college football playoff rankings coming out for the first time. Heather Dennis joins us now here on SportsCenter. Uh, Heather, let me ask you this. What's the thinking of where the playoff committee is going to land on its top four teams? And let's start right there at the top with number one. Well, Michael, I would be shocked if Alabama is not the selection committee's number one team. They have been far and away the most dominant team in college football. You look at their resume, they have wins against A&M and Georgia, both ranked teams. They're oozing Heisman talent. Mac Jones, at quarterback, is a Heisman um, candidate right now. They're just dominating opponents, and they're number one in offensive efficiency. And then the second team, I think that has to be Notre Dame in the eyes of the committee because they do have the best win in the country right now the double overtime win against Clemson Ian book at quarterback has played well one of the reasons they're in the top 15 in offensive efficiency but they're also one of the best teams in defensive efficiency as well and then at number three I think the undefeated Ohio State Buckeyes are hanging around in spite of a wobbly performance on defense and three turnovers from Justin Fields in the win against the Hoosiers but they're on track to play in the big Big Ten championship game probably against Northwestern and I think they earn the number three spot and then when you look at number four I think it goes to Clemson which is interesting because that would be their top one loss team and think about it Clemson hasn't won since Halloween and they had didn't play against Florida State so it's been a while since we've seen the Tigers in action but I do think they get that number four spot and the committee remembers how good Trevor Lawrence is. Okay, so pretty much what we have in the AP one through four. But again, you could make an argument for that fourth spot. But there's also a couple teams, Heather, that are right outside that top four that could also have a compelling argument to be in that top four. Who do you think that strongest team is? That is tricky for the selection committee. I think they might reward Cincinnati because I know that they value strength of schedule. And when you look at what the Bearcats have done, especially coming off a road win at UCF, quite frankly, Cincinnati's resume is better than both Florida's and Texas A&M's right now. The question is, does the committee like what it sees enough from Kyle Trask and company, which has been extremely impressive on the offensive side, and do they reward the Texas A&M head-to-head -head win over Florida. I think those are all interesting questions that will be answered on Tuesday night. But I think Cincinnati will be knocking on the door. Hey, it's been a crazy 2020, but one thing, it's constant. Things to argue about in college football. Heather, as always, appreciate the time and the perspective. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.